Raider Nation. Raider Nation. Raider Nation. Raider Nation. This is your president speaking. And I approve this message. Oakland Raiders. Oakland Raiders. I'm doing a free video today because I'm not going to be here for week seven on the Jacksonville and Raiders game. I'm actually going to go ahead and go out and go hang out with the Central Texas chapter over there at Pluckers in Colleen, Texas. So I'm going to go ahead and do my video now and I think I've given the proper reason on why I'm doing it but I've got a few things for you. I know I'm not going to have any highlights. I'm not going to have any of that cool stuff that I normally do uh, but I do have some pregame statistics here. Uh, Raiders versus Jaguars. Run offense for both teams. Jaguars is 31st. The Raiders are 13th. And that's with a committee, guys. That's not all the TV is Murray. We're 13th in run offense. Our pass offense is 9th. The Jaguars are 15th. Defensive pass. Jaguars are 8th, we are 32nd in the defensive rush. The Jags are 13th and we're 30th. We are the 32nd ranked defense in the league. Our leading passer, of course, is Derek Carr. 151 completions, 227 attempts for a 66.5 completion percentage. 1,608 total yards, 268 average yards per game with 12 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. He is ranked overall passing 10th. Blake Bortles for the Jaguars, 118 completions of 193 attempts, 61.1 completion percentage, 1,321 total yards, 264.2 yards per game average, 8 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Receiving Amari Cooper for the Raiders, 36 completions, 585 yards, 16.3 yards per catch. That's what he's averaging. He's averaging 97.5 yards per game. He's only got one touchdown, but he's the overall ranked eighth wide receiver in the league. Michael Crabtree, 31 completions, 365 yards, 11.8 yards per catch, 60.8 yards per game with five touchdowns. He's rated 18th. The Jaguars wide receivers, Allen Robertson, 24 completions, 287 yards, 12 yards per catch, 57.4 yards per game, three touchdowns, he's ranked 42nd. Marquise Lee, 22 completions, 230 yards, 10.5 yards per game, 46 yards per game average, zero touchdowns, 48th overall. Okay, look, the Raiders defense, man, 793 yards and 161 attempts. They've given up seven touchdowns. They're giving up 132.6 yards per game on average. This is absolutely terrible. I hope to God that we can stop this terrible running offense that the Jaguars have at 31st. But with us being 30th against the run, they might have a heyday on us. And that, that just might be absolutely terrible. The pass defense, we are 32nd. We've given up 1,876 yards. 312.7 average per game, guys. This is absolutely terrible, especially with Blake Bortles coming in here. I mean, he's not... He's not absolutely terrible. He has seven interceptions, which is really not very good, but he has eight touchdowns, and his completion percentage is 61.1%. You know, he's already over 1,000 yards. He looks like a legitimate contender, you know what I mean? He does. He looks like a legitimate quarterback and somebody that we're going to have to pressure to win this game. We really do need to win this game. I, I, I'm hoping that even though I'm not getting the highlights, that it's going to suck if they do do great because I'm going to miss all those highlights and I'm not going to be able to post them up, but maybe I'll be able to find them online later. But, you know, I'm just hoping that we blow these fuckers out. Now, on paper, we look pretty well evenly matched up, but I do believe that we have the edge if we play football the way we're supposed to play football. To play football like we know they can play football. So anyway... I'm going to go ahead and sign out of here. I just wanted to go ahead and throw you guys some stats. I'm predicting a Raider win 32-16. to 16. Uh, And I'm going to say that Derek Carr has a wonderful day. 
with three touchdown passes and over 250 yards passing. His completion percentage is going to be well over 50%. And our running back core led by Jalen Richard will break over 100 yards. And I know that's not much of a prediction since we've been doing so well at the run. And anyway, this is the Raider Critique signing off. And I will see you guys week 8. Unless we get completely blown out or something completely happens during this game. I might just post up another video. And I'll Peace. This and I'll message. I'm the president of the Raider Nation. Please use this as motivation. If you want a piece of this.